Everybody, good evening. Good evening, teacher. 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 Good to see you. Okay, let's begin. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. All right. Just give me a second as everything is loading here. Okay. Um, over here. Just a second. Okay, let's begin. I'm going to share the screen with you. Okay, there it is. So, uh, tratemos de mantener el, el audio, el micrófono en silencio si no estamos participando. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm going to call your names now. Hay interferencia, profe. Mm, había un poquito, <laughs> pero ya, ya estuvo. Okay, Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Arles Ernesto López. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Baudilio Elenilson Rivera. Good evening, teacher. I am here. Thank you. Is that Baudilio? Good evening, teacher. I am here. Ah, okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, Carlos Alberto Reyes. Santos Reyes. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Um, Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Cecia Gemima. David Antonio Rosales García. Presente, teacher. Welcome. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Present, teacher. Hi. Uh, Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. <coughs> Ever Francis Salvallero. Present teacher. Thank you. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Ebert Aristides Oya Ruiz. Present teacher, I am here. Thank you. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. Present teacher. Welcome, José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. Present teacher. Welcome, José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. José Valentín Rivera López. Present teacher, present. Okay, welcome. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Juan Francisco Arrazábal Calderón. Da un mensajito por acá. Welcome. Okay. Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. María Good de evening, Lourdes. teacher. Ok, welcome. María de Lourdes Miroslava Mansur Aguilar. Good evening, teacher. I am here. Ok, good evening. María Magdalena Cedillos González. Good evening, teacher. Present. Good evening. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Presente, teacher. Welcome. Oscar Susana Castellano. Present, teacher. Welcome. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. 
Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Wilber Rivas. Llamo nuevamente a quienes no me han contestado por si se han incorporado a este momento. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Cecia Ortiz. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Guillén. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O. Ayala. Franklin está de turno en apoyo a los juegos en estos momentos, teacher. Ok, thank you. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Franklin de la O, lo veo conectado. Así que la vamos a poner a asistencia. Presente, teacher. Llegando okay. ahorita de, de estar plantoneando. <laughs> Welcome. Ok. Bueno, llamaremos asistencia nuevamente al finalizar la clase. Everybody, welcome. This is Inglés Principiante Módulo 3, and that's me, Ivan Toñan, at your service. This is session six, and today is June 27th, 2023. So everybody, welcome once again. What are we going to do? Well, we have the grammar focus, okay? This is what we studied yesterday. Prepositions of place. Remember, we use on, okay, on, when you want to indicate the street, on. You say the department store is on Main Street. Está sobre determinada calle. It's on Main Street. You can also use on the corner of. Okay. Cuando una, un edificio, una casa, un establecimiento está en la esquina. Tiene que indicar la calle y la avenida. So you say on the corner of. So you have Main Street and First Avenue. It's on the corner of Main and First, or you can say it's on the corner of Main Street and First Avenue. What's next? Across from, look, across from, está enfrente, cruzando la calle, across from. You say it's across from the park, the hotel, imagine this is a hotel, the hotel is across from the park. Next one is next to next to, a la par. You say it's next to the bank, okay? Next to the bank. And we have between. What is the meaning of between? Between means entre. So the bank is, this is the bank between the department store and the restaurant, okay? So the bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Mucho cuidado con la preposición between. Les digo porque, eh, como les comentaba ayer, un error bien común cuando estamos aprendiendo esto es agregar una preposición adicional a between. A veces dice la gente between of. Y no, no tiene nada que ver. Solamente es between. Y nada más. No le ponga otra palabra. Between this and that. Okay. Between the department store and the restaurant. Okay. So those are the prepositions of place. We're going to do an exercise right here. Okay, everybody, take a good look. You have the exercise. Look at the map and complete the sentences, then compare with a partner. Okay? Take a look. So what do we have? The coffee shop is on 2nd Avenue. Okay? This is a coffee shop. It's on 2nd Avenue. It's, and then you have the shoe store. So what do we have right here? Mm -hmm. 
The coffee shop is on Second Avenue. Si ustedes ven acá, está un poquito lejos, ¿verdad? pero Second Avenue is here. This is Al's coffee shop. So the coffee shop is on Second Avenue. It's blah, 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 the shoe store. Baudilio. Next. Next to. Uh -huh. It's next to the shoe store. Está a la par de la zapatería. Favorite shoes. Okay. You have it right there. Give me a second as we continue here. I'm going to show you in the platform. Um, okay. Básicamente, este es uh, Knowledge Check 3.7. Okay. Just a little bit. So, take a look. What about number two? The movie theater is... Okay, you have the movie theater. It's Regency Movie Theater. Park and Main. So, what is that? Okay, Jose Amilcar. In cross from mm -hmm. the park. Well, is T. Okay, but sorry, I have a problem here. But take a look. You have it's okay. The movie theater is on Park and Main. So this is Park Street and Main Street. It's a corner. ¿Cómo sería entonces? The movie theater is Park and Main. We have a chat entry here. Santo Mauricio Arias Valle presente. Vamos a registrar su asistencia. Okay, thank you. So, um, uh -huh. Ajá, veamos acá. The movie theater is blah, 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 Park and Main. Está haciendo referencia a dos calles. Park Street and Main Street. En Main, en Main Street. Ajá. Pero eh, está ajá. en una esquina. Ajá, corner. Ajá. ¿Cómo nos queda entonces? Mm, sí, pero siempre lleva algo acá, ¿verdad? The, the movie theater is. Uh -huh. Ahí lleva algo. Sí. Mm. Ahí es donde le decía yo que, que estaba enfrente del parque. Frente del parque. Ajá. Ok. Pero eso sería la siguiente. Entonces, Ajá. No, no hemos contestado la primera. The movie theater is. Vamos a ponerla aquí en pequeñito es... para que se vea mejor. Ahorita, improvisado, estoy agarrando esto para que sea más fácil la visualización. Es is a corner off. Ok, casi, 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 casi. Sería... La primera palabra es la que es diferente. Mm. Y está, ¿verdad? Y lo puede ver. Permítame. Ahí está en pantalla. On the corner of. Ajá. Uh -huh. It's on the corner of Park and Main. Así que parece que ocupa toda la cuadra, pues, pero por la referencia que están dando. Ajá, eh, uh, sí que por la vista. Ajá, uh ajá. -huh. Uh -huh. On the corner mm -hmm. of Park and Main. And then. Ya decíamos que era. Era across from. It's across from the park. Okay. The park. Yeah, that is correct. It's across from the park. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Let's go for the next one. Vamos a ir con la siguiente. So, uh, who can help us with the next one? Number three, the gas station. <clears throat> Okay, 
aquí la estoy colocando las propositions en la pantalla para que no cueste mucho recordarla. ¿verdad? En caso se nos olviden. Puede ser un poquito complicado al principio esto. What about number three? Number three. María de Lourdes. The gas station, the gas station is on, is across from the parking lot. The gas the, station is across from the parking lot. Okay, yeah, that's correct. The gas it, station, uh -huh. sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay, right? So you have the gas station is across from the parking lot. Correct, aquí lo pueden ver, okay? It's across from. Está frente al, cruzando la calle. Across from the parking lot. Uh -huh. It's? It's on third. Um, no, 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 no. Uh -huh. uh, oh, yeah, see, sí. yes. It's on third and center street. But they are giving you two streets. Mm. So you say? It's. On the corner of first and center. It's on the corner of first and center. Okay. Yeah, that's right. It's on the corner of first and center. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Por acá tenemos el chat. Eh, Juan Carlos Portillo. Ya está. Vamos a tomar su asistencia. También nos dice que está Erika Beatriz. Bienvenidos a ambos. Okay, so what's next? Number four. Aquí tienen todas las propositions a la par, por si se nos... Se nos olvida ahí. Ever Enrique, Gallegos, Mejía, number four. The post of it is... On the corner of center and second. Yes. Is next to... Hosp the hospital. It's next to the hospital. Correct. Okay. It's next to the hospital. Okay. Great. Está la parte del hospital. It's next to the hospital. Very good. What about number five? Number Enrique. Teacher, a ver cómo me va con la número 5 o número 5. Démosle. The, the bench is between the restaurant in the depart, 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 department store. The bank is between the restaurant and the department store. Yeah, you can see it here. The city bank is between Maria's yeah. restaurant and Love's department store. Uh -huh. And then? No veo la, la, lo demás, teacher. Ah, se le dificulta ver la última. Sí, esa a parte. Ver... ¿no? Vaya, ahora? Vamos a ver por ahí. Oh. Is it is my store, my street? It is, and what about the preposition? It's it is between mm -mm. Oh. between means entre sí. oh. Oh. okay. Now, tengo la manita para participar. Por ahí alguien dijo, pero no sé quién fue. Ajá. Uh -huh. Que me apoye. Me apoye que, que, ok, que, vamos ¿no? ahí. El compañero necesita refuerzos. Llévelo <risa> <risa> ahí por la radio. Refuerzo, refuerzo. Ok, Baudilio. Across from, across, across from Main Street. Mm, 
no, it's not across from, but thank you. Who wants to try? Maria de Lourdes. It's on It's Main on Main Street. Street. That's correct. It's on Main Street. Está sobre la Main Street. Aquí puede ver. It's on Main Street. Okay. Una recomendación siempre que usted le pregunte en dónde está determinado lugar, siempre comience por la calle. Es lo primero, ¿verdad? Está sobre tal calle o está en tal esquina. Ok. Ahí vemos al gatito de María de Logurdes también recibiendo clase. <risa> ok. No problem. No hay problema que tenga la clase también. No hay ningún problema. Ok. So, here we go. Complete the sentences. This is a review, extra, extra activity. Complete the sentences with the correct places. Write one letter in each line. We need gasoline for the car. Is there a gas station near here? What about number two? I'm going to the blah, blah, blah. I need some traveler's checks. Where is this person going? This is a vocabulary exercise. Hmm? Raise your hand if you want to participate. Ever. I'm going to the bank. I need some travel shit. That's correct. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. What about number three? I work at a blah, blah, blah. I love books. So it's a great job. What do you know? Maria de Lourdes. I work at a um, book station. I books, love book no. station. Mm, not no. exactly, not exactly. Por ahí va, pero no es book station. Who, who can help Maria de Lourdes on this one? Baudilio. Library. Uh, library. Sí, yeah. Mm, no, it's not the library. But thank you. By the way, well, library is biblioteca. Right? Algo ahí que hay que tener muy en, en cuenta es la palabra library. Okay, library no significa librería, sino que significa biblioteca. Okay, les digo porque es un error bien común asumir que library es librería, ¿verdad? Se lo digo de manera preventiva. Okay, so, what is that? María Lourdes, once again. And... Bookstore? Bookstore. Okay. Bookstore. Yeah, that's right. El gatito le dijo. Bookstore. Okay. I want, I, I work at the bookstore. I love books, so it's a great job. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. So, um, again, that's library. Biblioteca. Then you have bookstore. So not. Tienda de libros. Okay, for example, in El Salvador, we have uh, La Casita, La Ceiba, La Internacional. Those are bookstores. Okay. And then, la pregunta del millón. Entonces, dice uno, ¿cuál es la librería donde uno va a comprar el papel, la cartulina, los lápices, todo eso? Okay. Ese es... Okay, se conoce como stationary store or stationary shop. Vendría siendo librería, papelería. Ahí donde compra usted la regla, le compra los útiles a los niños, le compra esa stationary store or stationary shop. Okay. Así que cuidado con estas tres, ¿verdad? Que fácilmente se pueden confundir. Remember, library is biblioteca. Bookstore es una tienda de libros. Okay. And stationary store or stationary shop is librería. Donde usted compra la cartulina, el papel, todo eso. Ok. Ok. Wilber Rafael. Ya está por acá. Vamos a tomar su asistencia. 
Okay, let's continue. What is next? Number four. Are you going to the blah, 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 two words? I need some stamps. Baudilio and then Jose Amilcar. Are you going to the post office? Are you I going need... to the post office? I need some stamps. That is correct. Thank you. Very good. Number five. We don't have anything for dinner. Let's buy some food at the... Restaurant. Restaurant. Well, let's see. Restaurant. No. So what I want. Sorry, it's not a restaurant. <laughs> I'm sorry. Maria Lourdes. Supermarket. Supermarket. Yeah, that's correct. Let's buy some food at the supermarket. Okay. Number six. Tomorrow we're going to go to Paris for five days. We're going to stay at an expensive, okay, Jose Amilcar wanted to participate. Jose Amilcar solo el fondo, veo, pero no lo veo a ver. Está participando, pero está en modo invisible. Okay, so, what about this one? Okay, so, tomorrow we're going to, to go to Paris for five days. We're going to stay at an expensive, Okay, Wilbert dice presente. Ya tomamos asistencia. Welcome. No me había fijado que no me veo. <risa> Está fallando la cámara en serio. Porque la tengo activada. <risa> Está en modo hombre invisible ahorita. En modo fantasma. Modo fantasma. Okay, Wilbert. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Do you have number Hi. six? Uh, and participation. Quieren. Yo estaba trabajando, pero vamos a ver qué dice ahí. Permítame. <laughs> okay. Hoy me agarró curva, teacher. Ah, yo creí que quería participar. Okay. Pero ya, ya le tomamos no, no, ahí... asistencia. Okay. Ahí voy a estar de, de oyente nada más porque en este evento estamos un poquito. I understand. Don't worry. Gracias, teacher. Okay. You're welcome. So everybody, number six, tomorrow we're going to go to Paris for five days. We're going to stay at an expensive, la palabra clave es stay. Quedarse, permanecer. Where? Five letters. If you know the answer, raise your hand, please. Jose Amircar. Volvió a la normalidad. Uh, the microphone. Estaba escondido los libros, este Amilcar. Expensive hotel. Expensive hotel. Yeah, correct. That's correct. Thank you. Number seven. I have a stomach ache. Can you buy some mentesid at the what? Can you buy some mentesid at the Baudilio? Drugstore. The drugstore. That's correct. Very good. And number eight, let's go out for lunch. There's a great Mexican downtown. Maudilio. Restaurant. Restaurant. Yeah, that's right. There's a great Mexican restaurant downtown. Okay, great. Very good. Let's continue. Now, take a look at that. Voy enseñando poco a poco. Ahí. Tienen across from, behind, between, next to, on the corner of. Tenemos esta, que es nueva, por cierto. Behind. What is the meaning of behind? Do you know? Baudilio? Eh, atrás o detrás. Uh -huh. Atrás de o detrás. Uh -huh. That's right. That's behind. Correct. So what are we going to do? Take a look at the map. Este mapa se ve un poquito más claro que el otro. So the English school is dice Catherine Street. I can look at For example, here's the English school. Quito lejos. English school, Catherine Street. So what is the right preposition? Audilio? On the corner of. On the corner of Catherine Street. Se, puede, se utiliza on the corner of si está dando la referencia de una calle y una avenida. Pero aquí solo hay una calle. So, let's see. José Amilcar. Sí. 
sería the English school is on Catherine Street. On Catherine Street. Okay. Ahí, la voz de José Amilca tiene razón. Okay. The English school is on Catherine Street. Okay. Good. <laughs> Me volví a desaparecer. ¿Qué, qué, qué falla está teniendo esto? No idea. En, okay. en serio, ya la voy a bloquear mejor. Ahora sí. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Jose Milcar. Um, the next one. Okay. The hospital. Where's the hospital? Paulilio. Behind. Okay, can you read the complete sentence? The hospital is behind the hotel. The hotel, the, the hospital is behind the hotel. Very good, thank you. Okay, um, the next one. The Mexican restaurant is blah, 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 Beatrice Street and Fourth Avenue. Busquen ahí Beatriz Street and Fourth Avenue. Eh, estoy tentado de darle, darle la palabra a Baudilio, pero siento que, 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 que los demás tendrían que participar también. Vamos, vamos. Anímense. Cecia, welcome. No sé si quieres participar o decirme que ya se conectó. Ya ahorita estoy entrando acá, se conectándome y bueno, ¿qué, qué es lo que estamos viendo? <laughs> Propositions of place. Ok, no hay problema. ¿no? Ahí termina de llegar. <laughs> ok, so, uh, who can help us with this one, please? No sé, Mexico no veo. Casi no se mira, pa. aquí le voy a dar no una cerca. a ver dónde está el restaurante. Ahí ven al... al, al, al Mexicano estereotipado ahí, tocando guitarra. On okay. the corner of. Ajá. Who's, who's participating? ¿Quién está participando? José, José Amilcar. Amilcar. Ah, ok, ok. Sí, Siempre sí. levantemos la manita si no me pierdo. Según yo la había presionado. Ya. Ah, ok. So the Mexican restaurant. Sorry, is, teacher. It's ok, don't worry. On the the Mexican of, restaurant. Please, please. Is, the Mexican restaurant is on the corner of Beatriz Street and 4 Avenue. Correct. Okay, very good. Mexico restaurants on the corner of Beatrice Street and 4th Avenue. Great. Next. The bank is on Barbara Street, blah, 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 6th and 7th Avenues. Le, le pica la mano ya, Baudilio. <laughs> Thank you, Baudilio. I, I understand. I, 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 I thank you for your participation. Ever Enrique. The bank is on the Barber Street between 6 and 7 Avenue. Between 6 and 7 Avenues. That is correct. Okay. Between 6 and 7th Avenue. Good. Very good. Okay. What about the bookstore? There's a bookstore. You don't buy more better. Bookstore. Okay. You know the answer? Please raise your hand. Enrique. Teacher, the bookstore is next to the English school. The bookstore is next to the English school. That is correct. Very good. Thank you. Adán Iglesias. What about number six, the coffee shop? What about the coffee shop? Here's a coffee shop. So. Seven Hamin. The coffee shop is Ground floor, the park. Is across from the park. Okay, yeah. The 
coffee shop is across from the park. Very good. Okay. Nice. Thank you. Okay. 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 Veamos. No sé si dejar esto ahorita o mejor para una siguiente clase. Porque... Okay. Take a look. We're going to do this now. Uh oh. Permítame que esta presentación se está trabando un poquito. Ahí está ya. Piratas del Caribe. Give me a moment, please. Uh -huh. Okay, so here's the review again. Now look, you can say on, remember, preposition on, sobre, on the corner of, en la esquina de tal calle y tal avenida, across from, cruzando la calle, next to, contiguo, o a la par. Okay, then you have between, entre, Carlos Edgardo Cruz González dice que ya ingresó. Vamos, asistencia tomada. Aprovechando, ¿estará por acá Salvador Enrique? Creo que no. ¿Y estará por acá Saúl Ernesto? No, todavía no. Ok. So let's take a look. And then you have this. Tenemos esta además. Fíjense bien. You can say diagonally opposite or diagonally across from. Se puede también. O usted puede decir on the opposite corner from. ¿Verdad? Lo que llamamos en El Salvador esquina opuesta. So, on the opposite corner from, también diagonally across from, o diagonally opposite. ¿Ok? Aquí tenemos otras ilustraciones. Behind. Está detrás. Baudilio. Teacher, you yes. can send uh, the information. Ah, yes. Right now. For WhatsApp. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh oh. Me dice que no estoy conectado. ¿Cómo que no? Ok. Para que vea, están pasando cosas raras. <ríe> si eso veo, no me lo. No me lo quiere. No me quiere conectar a WhatsApp, quizás del a, teléfono. A mí me desaparece por ratos. Ajá. Es culpa del hombre invisible. Culpa del hombre invisible que ahí está haciendo destrozos. Ok, voy a hacer algo. Voy a guardar las imágenes y luego posteriormente, porque creo que no me quiere conectar, se las voy a enviar. Pero sí, les prometo que se las mando. Aquí te voy a enviar la carpeta. Uh, today is June 27, 2023. Ok. Final de la clase se los mando porque ahorita me está dando un problema WhatsApp por algún motivo. Ok. Uh, so, look, you have behind. There is also this one. In front of. Algo que les comentaba ayer. In front of es enfrente, pero al mismo lado de la calle. Es decir, sin cruzarse la calle. Por ejemplo, si usted está parado enfrente del banco, en la acera del banco, entonces ahí decimos in front of. Si usted está frente al banco, pero está hasta el otro lado de la calle, entonces es across from. ¿Ok? Esa es la diferencia. So, the next one is next to, ya lo vimos. Between, ya lo vimos. También tenemos inside. What is the meaning of inside? Adentro. Outside, afuera. You have on. On first street. On the corner of main and first. Y luego decimos across from. También se puede across the street from. O simplemente decimos opposite. House A is across from house B. Or house A is opposite house B. Okay. All that is possible. So what are we going to do right here? 
Tenemos este mismo mapa que ya vimos con anterioridad. Okay. Listening. Where is it? This is the knowledge check. Okay. This is the knowledge check 3.7. Así que veamos acá. Si ustedes ven en la plataforma, sería este ejercicio exactamente. Vamos a resolver ahorita. So, listening. Where is it? Look up the map in exercise five. This is the map. Listen to four conversations. Where are the people going? Hacia donde se dirige la gente? Where are the people going? The first one is an example. It's the bank. Okay, then you have to take notes and tell me where the people are going, number two, number three, and number four. Usted me va a indicar hacia dónde se dirigen estas personas que están pidiendo, tal vez no dirección, pero sí dónde están los lugares. So, let's listen. Listen to four conversations. Can you hear that? ¿Se escuchó eso? Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. Okay, okay, I'm going to play it. Where are the people going? One. Hmm, I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency Movie Theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between the restaurant and Luff's department store. It's between the restaurant and Love's department store. So they're talking about the city bank. Así que pongan mucha atención ahí a las pistas que dan las personas que están hablando para saber de qué lugar. Pongan mucha atención, perdón, tenía el micrófono para otro lado. Pongan mucha atención ahí al, al lugar donde están, eh, al que se refieren las personas para saber de qué están hablando. Ok, so number two. Two. Is it near Maria's restaurant? Yes, it is. It's on 2nd Avenue next to the supermarket. P&J supermarket? Yes, it's on 2nd Avenue between Main and Center. Okay, thank you very much. Three. Where is it? Well, it's near the movie theater. So it's on Park Street? No, it's on Main Street next to the bank. Is it on the corner of Main and 2nd? Yes, it is. It's across from the supermarket. Thanks. Four. Is it near the bookstore? No, it isn't. It's on 2nd Avenue across from the movie theater. On the corner of Main and 2nd Avenue? Yes, that's right. It's next to Al's coffee shop. Okay, thanks. Going to play. I'm going to play it a second time. Listen to four conversations. Where are the people going? One. Hmm. I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency Movie Theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between the restaurant and Luff's department store. Two. Is it near Maria's restaurant? Yes, it is. It's on 2nd Avenue next to the supermarket. P&J supermarket? Yes. It's on 2nd Avenue between Main and Center. Okay. Thank you very much. Three. Where is it? Well, it's near the movie theater. So it's on Park Street? No, it's on Main Street, next to the bank. Is it on the corner of Main and 2nd? Yes, it is. It's across from the supermarket. Thanks. Four. Is it near the bookstore? No, it isn't. It's on 2nd Avenue across from the movie theater. On the corner of Main and 2nd Avenue? Yes, that's right. It's next to Al's coffee shop. Okay, thanks. All right. Okay, let's see. 
Jose Amilcar. What is number two? Do you know? The movie theater. The movie theater. Theater. Hmm. Are you sure? Hmm. Let's listen to it. Vamos a escuchar la número dos, nada más. Mar Maria's restaurant? You have Maria's restaurant. Not exactly. Okay. Okay, no problem. Ah, pues Don't worry. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Vamos a escuchar la dos únicamente. Uh -huh. Right. It's between the restaurant and Luff's department store. Okay, listen to number two. Mm -hmm. Two. Is it near Maria's restaurant? Yes, it is. Okay, is it near Maria's restaurant? Near, si está uh, cerca, yes. cerca. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver, cerca. Estamos hablando de esta área de acá. Is it near sí. Maria's restaurant? Mm -hmm. It's on 2nd Avenue next to the supermarket. P it's on 2nd Avenue next uh, to the supermarket. Adelante. On, it's no, on 2nd no, no, Avenue atrás. next to, next to. Uh, next to. Uh -huh. What is next to? Next to the supermarket. J supermarket? Yes. It's on 2nd Avenue between Main and Center. Oh. It's on 2nd Avenue between Main and Center. Okay. Thank you very much. So what are they talking about? Let's see. Maybe Baudilio can help us with this one. The microphone. David's drugstore. David's drugstore. So you're talking about the drugstore. Yeah, that's correct. Mm -hmm. It's near Maria's restaurant. It's on Second Avenue, next to uh, the supermarket. Okay. So it's David's drugstore. Thank you. What about number three? Number three. Who has it? Number three. Okay, I'm going to play number three again. Three. Where is it? Well, it's near the movie theater. So it's on Park Street? No, it's on Main Street, next to the bank. Is it on the corner of Main and Second? Yes, it is. It's across from the supermarket. Thanks. Okay, it's near the movie theater. Uh -huh. Maria de Lourdes. Maria's restaurant. Maria's restaurant. That is correct. Okay. It's near the movie theater. Está cerca, ¿verdad? Near the movie theater. It's next to the bank on the corner of first, sorry, Main Street and Second Avenue, across from the supermarket. So yeah, it's Maria's restaurant. There you go. Thank you. And number four. I'm going to play number four. Listen. Four. Is it near the bookstore? No, it isn't. It's on 2nd Avenue across from the movie theater. On the corner of Main and 2nd Avenue? Yes, that's right. It's next to Al's coffee shop. Okay, thanks. Uh huh, this is easier. Adan Iglesias. Uh. Favorite shoes? Ah, the shoe store, right? Shoe store. Ah. Correct. Okay. It's uh, favorite shoes, the shoe store. Correct. Very good. Nice. Yeah, they told you, right? It's next to Al's Coffee Shop in the corner of Main and Second. Are you good? Ahí no se pierde nadie. Dando todas las referencias posibles, llegamos al lugar. Okay. Very good. Okay, so what are we going to do? Okay, vamos a dar una pequeño, un pequeño repasito de esto. Vean que esto quiero que lo manejen bien porque esto es la parte, digamos, la parte más fácil de esta unidad. Una cosa es decir, ¿dónde están los lugares? Y otra cosa es decirle a la persona cómo llegar al lugar. Y esa es la parte donde se pone un poco más complicado. Entonces, tenemos que... Eh, Digamos, practicar esto lo más que se pueda para que cuando lleguemos a la otra parte, que sería mañana, ¿verdad? Eh, no nos cueste mucho. Ok, so let's do this exercise. 
Now look, esta vez quiero que me den una descripción un poquito más detallada. Es decir, no simplemente que me digan la proposition of place, sino que me digan una oración entera. Si yo les preguntara a ustedes, where is the bookstore? Aquí, ya que los nombres se ven bien pequeñitos, ¿verdad? Se los pongo aquí en un, en un círculo. Where is the bookstore? Entonces ustedes me dicen, the bookstore is on the corner of Catherine Street and Fifth Avenue. Podemos ver, it's on the corner of Catherine Street and Fifth Avenue. Está en la esquina. It's next to the English school. Ok. Entonces aquí pueden dar, quisiera que me dieran un mínimo de dos referencias. Una, en la calle donde se encuentra, si está en una esquina, tiene que decirme, la, on the corner of, y de ahí me puede decir, está a la par de tal cosa, está entre tal otra cosa, está, etcétera, etcétera. Across from, puede decir, ¿verdad? Enfrente de esto y aquello. So, you have them here. What about the supermarket? Ahí tienen el supermarket. Where is the supermarket? Ahí está marcado, mira. óvalo. Where is the supermarket? Mm -hmm. Odilio. Uh, the supermarket is on 4th Avenue. It's on 4th Avenue. Four okay. Avenue. It's on 4th Avenue. You can say that. Okay. Next to coffee shop. Okay. Give me a second. Que esta presentación tiene algo raro. Okay. Ush. Los elementos se han movido, permítanme. Okay. So there you go. The supermarket is on 4th Avenue. It's next to the coffee shop or the cafe, we can say. Supermarket is on 4th Avenue. It's next to the cafe. In English, you call the place cafe. Okay. Donde compra el café, se le llama café. All right. Thank you, Odilio. Very good. We don't have much time, so let's hurry. What about the department store? Where is the department store? Where's the department store? Ah, uh -huh. vamos, ¿quién se anima? Yo sé que Baudilio se anima, pero creo que quién más se anima. Come on, the department store. Look, it's right here. Where's the department store? Ok, José Amilcar. Vamos a intentar. Dale. Across from... Ok, pero oración completa. The department store. Across from... Falta, falta el verb. The department store is... Is... Ajá. It is across from... Ajá. English school. The English school. The English school. <clears throat> mm, veámoslo así. Por lo general ocupamos across from cuando una 
digamos, un establecimiento está, está frente. cara a cara al otro. De frente, ah, ajá. Entonces, ah, okay. en este caso sería un poco diferente. Mm. Siempre comencemos por la calle, por la avenida, por la intersección donde se encuentra la esquina. Uh -huh. En este caso está en una esquina. Pero, ajá. Eh, on Fifth Avenue. Ajá. En Beatriz... Street. Same. Street. Oh, ah, strip. Street. Ajá. Vaya, pero si, si uh -huh. se fija, está en una esquina. Entonces sería. Corner. Corner. Ajá. Sería the department. Comencemos ahí, ¿verdad? The department ajá. store is. Store is corner. Sería is on the corner of. On the corner of. Ajá. Fix Avenue. Ajá. En Beatriz. Beatriz Street. Yeah, the department store is on the corner of Beatrice Street and Fifth Avenue. Okay. What else? A que no se pierda ahí, ¿qué más le puede decir? Okay. Vamos a acercarnos Be un poquito. Ah, pero no es between, no podría ser between. Not between. Eh, sería... Es que se, todavía no me, no, no me memorizo los, los, por ejemplo, para decir que te tiene a la par la droguería, la drugstore. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál sería? Aquí Drug está. Store. Eh, uh, sería next to. Ajá. Uh -huh. It's next to. Next to drug, drugstore. It's next to the drugstore, okay? It's next to the drugstore, okay, good. Okay, thank you. All right, ahí vamos. Okay, so the department store is on the corner of Beatrice Street and Fifth Avenue. It's next to the drugstore. All right, good. What about the next one? You have the gas station. What about the gas station? Y lo ven, aquí atrásito. Paudilio. The gas station uh, is on 4th Avenue. On 4th Avenue. Pero si se Fort fija, Avenue. ¿dónde está exact exactamente ahí? Um, en una esquinita. On the corner. Ajá. And and uh, Mexican okay. restaurant. Okay, okay, let's let's begin. The gas station is is on the corner of an street. Para utilizar on the corner of tiene que mencionar una calle y una avenida. On the an uh -huh. street for avenue and fourth avenue. And okay, so avenue. The gas station is on the corner of Ann Street and 4th Avenue. Aquí vemos el Ann Street, está aquí atrás, and 4th Avenue. Justo en la esquina está el gas station. Ahora sí. And behind uh -huh. the Mexican restaurant. It's behind the Mexican restaurant. Okay, that is correct. Very good. It's behind the Mexican restaurant. All right. What about the next one? The Chinese restaurant. What about the Chinese restaurant? Ya no torture a Baudilio, déjelo que participe. <laughs> so, solo se retuerce ahí. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Sí. 
So about this one, Jose Amircar. Los demás, lo mismo me participa. Lo mismo, exactamente lo mismo. Ok. Jose Amircar. Como aquí, pode, aquí podemos mencionar que está en medio de ciertas calles o ciertas avenidas, porque al parecer utiliza toda la cuadra. Gran restaurante. So, ¿qué podemos decir? O sea, Milcar, su micrófono. Ajá, veía que no está solo en la esquina, entonces sería, podría ser between en Sixth Avenue en en Seventh Avenue. Yes, the restaurant is between Sixth and Seventh Avenues. Okay, good. ¿Cómo podría ser? The restaurant is between Catherine Street and Barbara Street. También, ¿verdad? Sí. Ajá, uh -huh. ok. Very good. Se nos acabó el tiempo, así que vamos con esta última. You can say it's behind the post office. ¿Por qué decimos behind? Aquí se ve la entradita. Restaurante, mm -hmm. así que técnicamente está atrás. So it's behind the post office. Ok, we're going to stop here, but first I'm going to call attendance one more time. Ah, ya entró. A WhatsApp. Ya le voy a mandar la imagen. Salvador Manrique. Hernández Vázquez, está por acá Salvador. Mm, no se conectó. Ok. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Ahí lo veo conectado. Okay. Hi. Hello. Ok. Vaya. Um, por favor repasen esto ahorita les voy a pasar la imagen antes que se me vaya a olvidar ya que ya entré de nuevo ok, there it is ok, so um, thank you very much por favor les pido que sigan eh, que sigan trabajando en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Vayan adelantando. Acuérdense que tenemos que terminar la sección número 3 y vamos a ver también el midterm para finalizar esta semana, que sería ya el jueves. Ok. So, everybody, please keep working on this and keep practicing this. Ok. Sigan repasando esto. I need practice, teacher. Ajá, necesitamos ahí un poquito de práctica. Así que. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, teacher. Bye bye. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye.